Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Jarelle Mata. So today we're going to be doing a makeup look using the new Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina palette. This is a palette that is like super hot right now on social media. Everybody's talking about this palette. So I want to see if it's actually worth it or not. And I want to be so truthful with you to make sure that it's actually something that it is worth to be in your collection. So I'm going to be doing a makeup look using the palette today and I also want to talk to you about the palette as well and just let you know my real thoughts whether I think it's worth it or not or if it's just like overly hyped so yeah that's exactly what we're going to be doing today so if you are interested in seeing the makeup look as well as knowing my thoughts about the palette please keep on watching but before we get into the video don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you have not already you can also click on the little bell so you can get notified whenever i upload a new video which is every single week and yeah without further ado let's get on to the so video. as you can see i already have my base bronzer concealer my brows are on so i already did all of that so if you are interested in knowing all the products that i use to create this look it will also be linked down below so this is the box right here and on the back it gives you a little picture of the palette and the names of each eyeshadow as well of all of the ingredients for each eyeshadow so this is the palette right here it is the same color as the box and also my nails so if you are interested in knowing what i have on my nails just in case it will be linked down below so you can go ahead and just take a look there um but it does have the same material or the same kind of feel to her previous palettes which is the prism palette subculture palette and the modern renaissance palette so these three are actually the same kind of suede material so now without being said let me go ahead and open it it is the same concept it does have a mirror on it so it does have a dual ended brush which i have used these brushes before and they actually do work really really nice and of course let me show you how it looks inside this is gorgeous so it does have all of your shimmer shades on the top and your matte shades on the bottom which is something new that they actually have done with this palette compared to her previous palette where there were less mattes but this time we do have lots of mattes which is amazing so i'm really excited about this palette so i did share the swatch of the lip gloss on my instagram so just in case you do not follow me you can follow me in all of my social medias which is makeup by Jarrell. all the links are down below as well so yeah let's go ahead and get started i'm going to bring you a little bit closer so you can see what i'm doing and yeah i'm really excited so let's get on it okay so the first thing that i'm going to do is just put a little bit of concealer on my eyelid and i'm going to use my beauty blender to blend that in so the first thing that I'm going to grab is this shade right here, which is called Incense. And I'm going to grab it on a Sigma E40 brush. It does have some kickback as you can see right here. So just, just know that. I'm going to tap the excess to make sure I do not have any fallout since I do have my base on. And I'm going to bring this color pretty high up. So I'm going to do like a rounded shape. I'm not going to stand it out so much. Okay, now I'm going to go into this shade right here, which is called Love. And I'm going to grab this shade on a Sigma E25. And I'm just going to place that on the same spots, but just a little bit lower. Going back with the E40, I'm just going to blend the edges again. I'm going to go into Soul right here. I'm going to go in a smaller blending brush. I'm going to pack that color all the way towards the middle. All right, to deepen up the outer corner just a little bit, I'm going to go into Passion. 
I'm going to be using the Sigma E25 and I'm just going to really focus that on the outer corner. I'm going to bring this shade down in the lower lashes. And just going back with love and I'm just going to blend the edges of everything. And I'm bringing it all the way to the inner corner. And just retouching everything that we did. And with a MAC 242, I'm going to go into the shade which is Dazzling. And just put it in the inner corner. And blending it in with Soul. And going back to Soul with a smaller brush just to blend it. Okay, now going back with Love, just blending it again just right on top of what we did. All right, with the same blending brush, I'm going to go on the bottom. Okay, first I'm going to go into base and I'm just going to place that in the highest point of my brow. And always going back to that love shade and just blending those edges together. So I have a dazzling on my brush and I'm just going to wet the brush just a little bit to intensify it. And using a dreamer, I'm going to use that to highlight the inner part of my eye. Now, just taking a little bit of sole, I'm just going to run that right in the middle of my lower lashes. Not gonna go too far, or it's just right in the middle. So this is the final look for the eyes. After I applied my lashes and the mascara on my lower lashes, I just went ahead and re-intensified everything back again just a little bit just to make sure that you can still see the colors through the lashes. So I am wearing the Ardell's 600s just in case you are interested. So let's go ahead and finish up with the face. I'm going to be using the Dream Glow Kid palette and, and this is what it looks like just in case you haven't seen it and i'm going to be using the anastasia beverly hills a23 blush so i'm going into the shade wish okay and i'm going to put a little bit on the tip of my nose And the bridge of my nose and my cupid's bow. So for blush, I'm going to be using the new L'Oreal Paradise Enchanted Blush. And this one is in the shade Just Curious. And it looks like this. Alright, for lips, I'm going to be using the same thing that I've been using lately, which is the Urban Decay. And for lips, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills in Veronica. And right in the center, I'm going to add a little bit of Lovely. So yeah, so this is the final look. So I bought this lip gloss along with the palette and this one is in the shade Luna. So let me show you exactly the shade. Um, I don't think it's going to go with this look. So that is the shade. I don't know if you can see it, but it's really a true gold. All right, so just for the sake of the video, I'm actually going to put it right on top of 
my liquid lipstick right now to see how it goes. Okay, so this is with the lip gloss on top. So yeah, that's it for the video. I really like the look. I really like the palette. I cannot wait to actually create more looks with this palette. I hope that this video was actually helpful to you just in case you were interested in picking up this palette and you wanted to have more ideas on how to create looks. I am going to be doing two more looks with this palette for sure. I cannot wait to actually play with this palette again. So this palette did not have a lot of fallout, which it was great. The only thing, my only suggestion that I would give you is to make sure that you tap on the brush so you do not get any fallout on your face especially if you already did your base like I did today it was really easy to blend and it blended into the other colors really really nicely so I did not have any issues with that which is amazing so yeah I did also like the lip gloss a lot and I'm thinking I might want to actually pick up another one but I don't know I will see maybe I'll wait until they actually get into store so yeah that's it that's it for the video thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you have not already and I will see you next time. Bye.